Will 2029 see simultaneous Lok Sabha elections and state assembly elections? All state assembly elections and Lok Sabha elections could they be held simultaneously in 2029? Well, yes, that could be possible if the government accepts the recommendations of the Ramnath Kovind Committee report, which have been submitted to the President Draupadi Murmuji today. Uh, this committee was set up in September last year and within six months, this committee headed by former President Ramnath Kovind has submitted its voluminous report to President Draupadi Murmu today, done within six months, as I said, very quick uh, work done. And this voluminous report now with the President, the government will take a call whether to accept it or uh, when, when to accept it. But the major recommendation which is coming from this report, and I have these conclusions of the report in my hand, uh, the, uh, the voluminous report, the conclusions which have been made specifically imply that if the government accepts this report in 2029, the country could see Lok Sabha elections and all state assembly elections being held together and one go. That is a big recommendation. How will this be achieved? The government, the committee has said that in after these present Lok Sabha elections, when the House sits for the first time, the Lok Sabha sits for the first time, an appointed date be set on of the first sitting of the House. That will be the appointed date. And after this appointed date, for example, if that appointed date is, for example, June 1, uh, 2024, after this appointed date, whichever state assembly goes to polls till 2029, that particular state assembly will only have a term of a remainder of months till 2029. So, for example, if a state polls in the end of this year, it will only have a term of four and a half years. If a state polls in 2028, for example, it may only have a term of one year. So in 2029, all the terms of the state assemblies will end irrespective of when they were voted into power post 2024. And in 2029, we will see simultaneous elections of Lok Sabha as well as all the state assemblies. Obviously, this is a very, very ambitious proposal because many states you know, may object to the fact that if they are voted to power, if a particular party is voted to power in a state in 2027, why should we just have a two year term and you know, not the full five year term? But the committee is saying this is the only way to achieve to bring back the simultaneous elections, which we had many, many years ago in the country. In fact, the committee, if I read out the recommendation, says that, you know, the committee finds that the loss of simultaneity in elections after the first two decades of Indian independence has had a baneful effect on the economy, the polity and society. It said that this casts a huge burden on the government, businesses, workers, courts, political parties. And therefore, the committee has recommended that the government must develop a legally tenable mechanism to restore the cycle of simultaneous elections. So the, obviously the big recommendation is whichever state now polls post 2024 till 2029 has a shorter term. It doesn't have the full five year term. It will have a four year term, three year term, two year term, depending on which year it votes in. That is the major recommendation. And it says that subsequent to that uh, coordination, simultaneity in Lok Sabha and assembly elections, the second step would be elections to municipalities and panchayats also synchronized with this cycle of Lok Sabha and state assemblies. Interestingly, the report says that to do this, to do bring this simultaneousness in Lok Sabha as well as assembly elections, there does not necess necessitate ratification from the states because the tenure of any present state assembly is not being uh, interfered with. It's only for future state elections that when the next the state election happens, then the curtailment will come until 2029. So in a way, 2029 is now the benchmark date when all Lok Sabha uh, seats and all state assembly election seats will go to polls together. So every state has to compromise, you know, whoever polls after this date will have a shorter tenure. That is one important recommend, the important recommendations coming from here. The committee also interestingly is saying that in the event of a hung house, so what the big question is, what happens if there's a hung house? If in the event of a hung house or a no confidence motion, fresh elections be held to constitute the no house. But whenever these fresh elections are held, the term of that house will also be only the remainder of the term till 2029. Same applies to Lok Sabha. If there's a hung house or no confidence motion that brings down the government, fresh elections be held, but the remainder of the term will be till 2029 till the next Lok Sabha election. So in a way, everything will be synchronized. Uh, with a particular Lok Sabha election, that is a big recommendation uh, of this committee. It also states that you know, certain acts will need to be brought, certain laws will need to be brought. It has recommended the introduction of Article 324A uh, for enabling simultaneous election in panchayats and municipalities. Along with the general elections, it has also recommended that there should be a single electoral role. 
for you know and single electoral roll single electoral photo identity card which shall be prepared by the election commission of india in consultation with the various uh, state election commissions and the same will be substituting any other electoral roll prepared by the election commission of india under article 325 so you will have a common electoral photo identity card common electoral roll for both your state assembly election and the national election so while implementing step 1 you know it said the simultaneous elections to the house of people and state legislative assembly does not require ratification from states so in the event of the government accepting this onop report of mr ramnath kovin what we could see is that soon after 2024 elections are done lok sabha elections are done the government could pass a law government could bring it in the house uh, ratify this and say that today is the appointed date whichever state now polls subsequently till 2029 will have shorter tenure depending on when they got when this particular state assembly election is held to ensure that automatically in 2029 lok sabha elections are held simultaneously with the assembly elections in the country